know, and you wanted to travel mm-hmm. and you hooked up with the right people. Um, what would you say besides the people that obviously were trading you? Um, what were your influences as far as wrestling style? I idolized Benoit and Randy Orton. Combine them two, and that's what I would fucking try to go for. You loved Randy Orton. I idolized him, dude. What's like, your favorite version of Randy Orton? Ooh, that's a really good be- be- question. Because dude. I do like uh, Voices in My Head, Randy Orton, from like 2009, 2010, yeah, when he was punt kicking people. No. But like, there's something about Legend, Legend Killer, Killer Randy Killer, Orton. Dude. Like, as a teenager, mm-hmm. like I was like, I wish I looked like this man. Yeah. I wish I could get the chicks like yep. this man. That Legend Killer Orton, dude, 100%. Punt kick Orton was sick, too. Yeah. But Legend Killer Orton, all the way, dude. God damn. He was the fucking man. I still got my Legend Killer shirt. When he beat Taker finally at fucking SummerSlam, <laughs> I fucking wrote on my Randy Orton Legend Killer shirt with a silver Sharpie Undertaker, and then I put a check mark through the box. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's tight. What's was, your favorite Randy Orton match? Dude, I uh, really like Cactus Jack versus Orton. Dude, Backlash, Backlash 2004, I used man. to watch that shit to go to sleep every night. Like, fucking, I just put it on and wake up to the theme song on the menu. Everybody. I love you, and I love that match. because. Oh, and yeah. every time I've ever taken tax, oh. I think about that visual of Orton taking the tax yeah. and, like, sitting up and, like, freaking out. His like, face, I, the old face. I do that, like, when I take tax because, like, that had such an impact on me. And I think that was, like, the you know, I watched it recently. I showed Ricky Shane Page because I hadn't watched it in a long time. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember what the finish is now, but I remember it was kind of weird. It was the RKO on the, the barbed wire bat. Was it? Yeah, yeah it looked kind of like... Yeah, it it was, wasn't the best RKO. It, it was weird. But he, in general... He didn't want to land on the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in general, like, that match is sick, dude. It holds up. It really does, dude. And uh, fun fact, I uh, I wrestled a death match one time in Texas, and I had the option of taking skewers or tacks, and I picked the skewers because... I'm petrified of getting a tack lodged in the middle of my spine somewhere. That I just I free if Vince McMahon wants me to take tax, I will take tax. Anybody else, <laughs> I'm probably gonna be like, nah, dude. Turn it down. Yeah, like I'll go through a pane of glass. I don't give a fuck. I'll do all that. But I just the thought of a little tack getting lodged in between my spine and like moving the wrong way and just something fucking up terrifies me. And I don't even know if that's ever happened, but I'd We'll have to look it up. Ugh. Google it. Um, now, you talk a lot about uh, how guys like Benoit as well influenced you. And uh, we, we didn't mention it, but I know you had a heavy influence uh, from Eddie Guerrero as oh, well. Oh, God. Um, I love him. So when we talk about guys like that, obviously they spend a lot of time um, applying their uh, – Applying their applying their craft, applying their craft in Japan, and you, I know, spent some time uh, working in the New Japan Dojo in mm-hmm. Los Angeles, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me about that, dude. I fucking Shibata is my favorite. I can't say current wrestler because he's inactive, but yeah. after Orton, like Benoit and Orton at SummerSlam 2004, justified who my favorite wrestler was. Orton won, and Match then great. yeah, and then after that, when I found New Japan. Shibata was my hero, like from 2013 on, and then he fucked his head up in 2017, and yeah. now I haven't really ever given thought to who my favorite is. But whenever I was there, it was the most intense thing I've ever been through physically, and having him watch over while we're doing this shit, and my body's just shot, and I can't even move my, I can't lift my arm. It feels like I've got bricks tied to my wrists, and I can't even lift them, and we're still doing shit. Yeah, I just, oh my god, that was. I remember doing jump squats, the very last workout we had to do after all five days, and then it was matches. And the very last thing, I was doing my jump squats, and I looked at Scorpio Sky. He's like, 20 seconds, dude, come on. I was like, I've never in my life, as I'm doing jump squats, wanted to cry without any emotion being involved. (laughs) But right now, I just want to cry, dude. He's like, you're almost done. I said, dude, I appreciate what you're doing, but it's not fucking working. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and then it stopped. I fucking just kind of squatted down and just started breathing heavy and was just like, fuck, I want to fall down and lay here, but I don't want Shabbat to see me do that. So I just kind of squatted down and then stood up, and we were done. Then we got to wrestle. What kept you going? Shabbat, watching, wanting to impress him and make him fucking see that I wasn't a bitch. I mean, I think that in itself is enough. I just, you know, I, I've never done anything to that extent, um, but Oof. I do strength and conditioning classes quite often uh, with my buddy Vince at this place, Fit Legit Training, mm-hmm. and uh, we do these strength and conditioning exercises that I feel like, I mean, I know, I can't do them on my own because, like, it's like burpees and, like, box mm-hmm. jumps and stuff, and it's, like, stuff that, like, 
I just can't psych myself up for. Yeah. But like when I'm in that group environment and when I have Vince watching me, like he's such an inspiration for me in the gym. Like I don't want to quit. And yeah. I imagine that was the same mindset with you. 100% dude. Like I remember doing right before the jump squats <laughs> with Spider-Man pushups where you crawl on the ground yep. like Spider-Man. We've done and those. And Shibata walked around the corner of the <laughs> ring and had his kendo stick and he goes under my sword. And it was like a foot off the ground and I had to get under it.